shops in a proper place whole campus should be clean the school whole campus should be clean okay because some people are allergic to the dust if it is not clean they get diseases because they are allergic to the dust so we should always keep our classroom clean we should not throw the paper here and there it should be thrown into the dustbin and keep the chalk and duster at a proper place the whole campus the school campus should be kept clean there is a school garden even we should take care of that okay and the next is road so how can you keep the road clean the road also the road are made for our use yes the road is made for our use so it is our responsibility to keep the road also clean okay have you seen okay so you might have seen the dustbin are kept on to the okay on the side of the road so why the dustbin are kept to the side of the road to throw the use okay we should always throw the use napkins paper fruit peels into the dustbin we should not throw it into the road okay so you might have seen the dustbin are kept to the side of the road so we always throw the use napkins papers fruit peels etc to the dustbin and never on the road you should not spit on the road and you should not urinate also okay, on the road it is our responsibility to keep the road also clean okay we should not throw use napkins paper fruit peels on the road just like that so there is a dustbin to the side of the road throw your the use napkins or paper or the fruit peels into the dustbin only do not throw it on the road the road also clean the roads are made for our use okay so we should throw into the dustbin and we should not spit on the road okay we should not spit on the road and we should not urinate on the road so these are the things how we can keep our surroundings clean if the surroundings are clean it it gives us healthy life then we will be healthy okay if our surroundings are not clean we get diseases so always keep your surroundings and also not only surroundings even yourself clean so we should keep our ourselves and our surroundings clean okay the place where we are living in we should keep it clean neat and tidy okay children so now we are going to complete the textbook exercise now everyone open your spare books and my textbook Page number hundred and ninety one. Page number hundred and ninety one. Everyone, open your textbook. Be ready with your pencil, eraser, sharpener, all those things. We are going to complete the exercise part of this lesson. Okay, children, open your textbook. Okay, children, everyone, open your Sparrow Seven textbook. Page number. Hundred and ninety-one. Page number hundred and ninety. Okay, hundred and ninety-one exercises. So before that, we will have a revision. What and all you have learnt in this lesson? All of us love to live in clean surroundings. We must keep our home, school, and our locality clean. Always use dustbin to throw garbage. Put your things at the right place. do not spit on walls and roads so now we'll start writing the exercise a mean okay first mean following spellings are jumbled up arrange them to get the correct answer so here the words are jumbled up we should arrange these words to get the correct answer so what is the first question b o r o m the word is broom b r o o m b r o o m broom okay b r o o m broom so we use broom to clean our house to dust the things is it it is broom b r o o m the next is w p 
L I L O. What is this? Pillow. You can see here, children. This is pillow. Write down. P I L L O W. Pillow. Okay. P I L L O W. Pillow. The next is R E D U S T. This is duster. Can you see here? Yes. Write down. D U S T E R. Duster. D U S T E R. Duster. The next is L O T E W. This is towel. Can you see here? Yes. Write down. T O W E L. Towel. T O W E L. Towel. The next is P E W R I. This is wiper. Write down. W I P E R. Wiper. Okay. W I P E R. Wiper. So, like this, you have to arrange the jumble words and write the correct answer. Okay. So, the first is broom. B R O O M. Broom. The second is pillow. P I L L O W. Pillow. The third is duster. D U S T E R. Duster. The third is towel. T O W E L. Towel. The fourth is, fifth one is wiper. W I P E R. Wiper. Okay. So now we'll move on to the Second me. Find out the things that you use at home for cleaning. Encircle the items for cleaning. So, what is this? Find out the things that you use at home for cleaning. Encircle the items for cleaning. So, here you can see some of the items here. So, what we should do? We should circle the things which we use to clean the how clean our home okay so the first thing is an apple whether you use apple to clean no what about knife whether you use the knife to clean your house no and what is this a wiper whether you use the wiper to clean the house yes so we use wiper so circle this wiper so we are using this wiper is it and what about cooker? Whether you use cooker to clean the home? No. And here the vacuum cleaner. Whether you use the vacuum cleaner to clean the house? Yes. So circle this. And here iron box. Whether you use this iron box to clean? No. And what is this? Broom. Whether you use the broom to clean your home? Yes. So we will circle this. Okay, so we use wiper, vacuum cleaner, broom to clean our home. So like this you have to circle the things which we use to clean our home. So next third main, Rajat wants to keep his room tidy. Some pictures are given below. Match them to their right place. So here some of the pictures. So we will match them to the right place. Okay. So what is this? Books. So where the books are arranged? Books are arranged in the bookshelf. Okay. So match here. Bookshelf. Books are arranged in the bookshelf. And what about the toys? Where do you arrange the toys? In the showcase. So match it here, showcase. And what about the pencil? Where do you keep your pencil? On the pen stand. 
so match it here and what are this shoes so where do you keep your shoes in the shoe rack match it here and the clothes so the clothes are kept in almira match here and what is this pillow so pillows are in bed so like this we should match the right place where these things are kept okay so books are kept in bookshelf toys in the showcase pencils or pen in the pen stand shoes in the shoe rack clothes are kept in almira pillows are in bed like this we have to match okay so next fourth mean can you name three insects found in dirty place tell me what are which are the insects are found in the dirty place yes you can write flies okay f l i e s flies f l i e s flies then you can write mosquitoes m o s q u i t o s mosquitoes then you can write cockroaches c o c k r o a c h e s cockroaches so can you name three insects found in dirty places flies f l i e s flies mosquitoes m o s q u i t o s mosquitoes cockroaches c o c k r o a c h e s cockroaches so like this you have to fill the exercise okay children so the first main is arrange in the jumbled words okay we have to arrange these jumbled words to get the correct word then here so we have to encircle the things which we are using to clean our home then the third is to the we should match the pictures to their right places where they are kept then the fourth main right three insects found in the dirty place so like this you have to match the words okay write the words so it's already time to end the session now i am going to end the session okay children thank you